Hello, Buzzacos, my name is Halsey and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where we have, or I have made some progress since last time. I put something more together here, uh, because we are a bit lacking uh, the capability to push uh, chlorine gas out here, which means it's accumulating in here to the level uh, that's unhealthy so the plan is let's get the carbon dioxide out of here by by skimming the whole thing and that should give us a bit more room um, and eventually i hope this oxygen up here will be used up um, we also notice uh, our ethanol is running low, so we will focus on, on that today. Then here we are on the, on the second um, thing, on the second water supply, because uh, the one on top here dried up. And I started to uh, uh, add a bit more um, uh, walls and so on for the future. Our reco farm is doing nicely and uh, also want to have a peek up here. Um, and I'm not sure if, uh, if we have seen that in the last episode, but now we have five duplicates. The last one has some artistic abilities which will be important because we want to have some nice decoration as part of our base. So, but first, let's figure that out. Um, give that a bit more priority so we can uh, get this sorted out before we have all the nasty ga gases in our base uh, and then i'm thinking we will pump this ethanol uh, over to here or maybe uh, directly in there yeah let's do it this way up here something like that we need a bridge here And we need a pump down there. With a pipe going to it. Um, we need a ladder. And we need power there and then we can have down here our current skimmer um, Let's maybe not yet do this part. And in here we can see we have some damage there because uh, we had some chlorine gas going through here, which was cooled enough 
uh, so that it became liquid and broke the pipe. And that's not a good thing. So I think we need to give this this a bit of, of time or give the duplicates a bit of time uh, until they have sorted the things out that need to be sorted out and then we can actually make some some decent progress here actually we have to hurry this thing up because we have run dry on this side so actually we could get rid of this part here Don't need that. And then that pipe as well. At least for now. So all that's missing is the pump. We have the power, we have the pipe. So let's try to prioritize that. And we have fallen back to the manual generators. But as soon as we uh, pump uh, some ethanol back in here, um, our system should be once again be good to go. And uh, we can turn our attention onto this project to finish off the nasty carbon dioxide down here. Now that we have this up and running as well, we can turn our focus on the main goal. Ethanol production, or as you might know, ethanol is basically alcohol or industrial alcohol. And we can actually produce uh, ethanol out of wood. And for that, we will set up a, a bit of a, a production facility here on this side. So what we will probably eventually do is revamp this part a bit to, to have proper room. And we can then maybe let's have um one two three storage tanks down here put them on solid ground and have a ladder going there and then we shall connect them this way and that's then basically the output that we will feed in here and then we can have something more here on top and Looking at a petroleum generator, petroleum generator uses two kilograms combustible liquid per second. So that's uh, petroleum, that's ethanol. Uh, I think we can also burn other things. So we need to be able to supply two kilograms per second per uh, generator and we have uh, two in total so basically we need to have four kilograms uh, per second but as you can see they only run intermittently so probably at this point we do not need to scale up 
uh, so that we can uh, uh, com combine, combust, compete, compete uh, with uh, with the with the amount that we are actually consuming. And what we need here is is where is it an ethanol distiller which produces 500 grams per second so for one petroleum generator we need four of these and actually we would need eight but i think um four or probably even two um would be sufficient for now so let's have them sitting here and there we need a bit of an output pipe that goes in here and we will have a ladder going up and then maybe have kind of a, of a ladder floor kind of thing going on here because we need to feed those with logs and they produce I think polluted dirt um, they require lumber and they produce ethanol that we want and polluted dirt as well as carbon dioxide so uh, probably we want to have something like that to uh, so the, the carbon dioxide can filter through there uh, and we can then eventually scrub it down there somewhere and it is probably not the, the worst idea um, to To have some compost uh, here on this side to deal with all the polluted dirt. And eventually we can improve the setup by having a bit of automation going on with uh, shipping that delivers the wood into the distilleries but I think for now manual uh, filling will will do and down here we have cleaned out all the all the uh, carbon dioxide uh, and have made quite a bit of room for chlorine gas yeah we can see the pressure is now way lower um, which means uh, we also can pump out the chlorine gas that's sitting down here and we no longer pump it up into our base uh, let's let's take dirt dirt is always good and up here you can see i started out uh, having a bit of uh, decoration um, being done because now we have uh, Travaldo uh, he is a masterworks expert so uh, we can expect the highest quality of art uh, produced by him but once again it's time to wait for the duplicants to do their work 
the facilities are completed and are working now the question is about how long will they be working uh, because we run out of wood but that's definitely a problem for another time because i spotted something that can be way more detrimental we ran out of water here and from what i can see we don't have any readily supply of water near here uh, luckily uh, the only reason we need water is for our research which for obvious reasons is now halted uh, i think in here we might have a bit of water but um, as we have seen we have a water geyser here we have one down here and we have a metal iron volcano down here with an anti-entropy terminal nullifier over there so ooh. you lock yourself in Um, and as I was saying, so next time we will focus on getting this iron volcano up and running. Um, we will need steel and plastic for that. And we will need the water from this side here. So i'm thinking before we get to the iron volcano itself let's deal with the water the cooling system uh and then we should be able to uh, uh have a facility that creates a bit of steel for our needs all right then i think that will do for today hope you enjoyed it and join me next time when we sort out our water problems